everyone, I'm Olivia for Signal by Sony. Today we have Mark with us from Sony's Digital Imaging Group. Welcome back, Mark. Hi, Olivia. It's great to be back. Nice to see you. Now, it uh, looks like we have a 4K reveal today. We do. It's not a television. What is it? We have a 4K Handycam camcorder. Handycam camcorder. Now, in terms of a camcorder, why is 4K important right now? Well, it really comes down to the uh, viewing experience that you get with 4K. It, it, it's difficult for us to show here, but the experience that you get when you see 4K on a 4K television, it's such a much more engaging and entertaining experience. In terms of what filmmakers can do and videographers can do, uh, the ability to capture 4K sets their work apart. We're looking at this camcorder. Let's go through some of the tech specs here. So the design of the camera uses uh, the same sort of cabinet and uh, layout as several other prosumer cameras that we've uh, carried for several years now. So we have um, a 20X Sony G series lens. Mm -hmm. It's about 30 to 600 millimeter focal length range. You have three manual control rings, which are very important. Uh, not only zoom, but also focus, and also iris control here. The camera is actually easy to use. There is even a fully automatic mode, but you can switch that off and go into manual. And you have full control over iris, gain, white balance with presets. You have full audio controls here. Uh, because, of course, we have uh, full XLR input XLR. capability, as well as an internal microphone. Switchable ND filters, very important for this uh, level of uh, camera. On the output side, here are the two XQD slots right here. Okay. You have an SD card slot here, USB output. Tell us a little bit about the battery. With a camera that uses this much energy, because of all of the data that we're handling, we use our largest L-series batteries, and we use the highest capacity. So now, what type of media are, is this camera recording to? Mm -hmm. Because we're capturing so much data so quickly, um, it's essentially we're shooting individual 8 megapixel images at 60 frames per second. Um, the data rate is beyond that of what SD cards can typically handle. Okay. So we're shooting to this uh, XQD media. This is a media card that Sony introduced about a year and a half ago. Now, uh, just to reiterate and to really drive the point home, because, yes, this is a 4K camera and that's really amazing, but this also shoots in HD. Yes, it's actually a great full HD camera. It, obviously, the uh, headline feature is its ability to capture 4K, but its full HD capability is spectacular because it has a 50 megabit per second recording mode thanks to the XAVC-S codec. Now, for somebody who's looking into purchasing this 4K camcorder, uh, Workflow is going to be a big issue. Can you talk us through what the workflow of shooting in 4K and outputting? Yeah, How does that happen? So with the XAVC um, codec, uh, we have editing support uh, from uh, Sony Creative Software Vegas 12. Okay. And uh, Vegas 12 will be a, uh, a free download with this product. And you'll be able to edit uh, 4K footage on a reasonably powerful PC, a Core i7. Uh, equipped PC, um, not only on the uh, Windows side, but also on the uh, on the Mac OS, okay. can handle 4K XAVC. Um, and, and I can imagine other companies are going to have software that supports this as well. Yeah, yeah we imagine that the support for XAVC, uh, well, obviously there's a number of companies that are already signed up uh, right. to support the, uh, the codec and the format. And uh, we imagine that as 4K becomes more and more accessible, we'll see more and more support from more and more it's companies. It's going to grow. I can imagine that this is going to become more readily accessible to more people. So if we're shooting in 4K, can we then just view it in HD and sure. output it in HD? Sure. Literally, you'll be able to go into a store in October, buy this product, shoot 4K 60p video, plug it into your Sony Bravia 4K television with a single HDMI 1.4 cable and watch 4K 60p video. And there's really no other way to do that today 
except with this camcorder. With this camcorder. Yeah. So there's there's a lot to be expected with this camera. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's a real milestone achievement in video camera technology, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll certainly be building on it again due to the uh, tremendous advantages that we have with XAVC-S as the codec, mm -hmm. and also the incredible capabilities of the video processor built into it. Pricing and availability. Yeah, this, this product will be coming to market in about the second week of October, and we're going to position it at $4,500, which is quite similar to where cameras of this type are placed right now. Obviously, For the this prosumer. is. A, yeah, prosumer camcorders are you know, significantly, well, as you can see, larger mm -hmm. and a bit more expensive than what you'd find in a palm size uh, consumer camcorder. But in terms of a camera that can do what this can, together with the ability to bring 4K into the hands of individual filmmakers. We really see it as quite a milestone. This is a milestone. Yeah. All right, Mark. Well, thank you for coming by and sharing all of the information with us. Well, thanks, Olivia. Great thanks. to be here. Yeah, nice to have you again. And uh, if you guys have any questions on this 4K camcorder or anything Sony related, you can check out youtube.com slash signal.